Greetings and welcome back to Satisfactory. I'm Catherine of Sky, and one thing that I forgot to mention um, was that Epic Games has a program with content creators so that if you want to purchase the game, you can use a creator code. So I'd be honored if you use mine um, if you decide to get the game. Anyway, I was looking back at the, the techs. Um, let's see, where are they? They are over here. And Hub Upgrade 4 has one inventory slot extra, minor MK1 and storage containers, which are are gonna be great oh my god they're good uh hub upgrade five is the one that has the extra biomass burner that was the thing that i was looking for last time and i forgot that it's two stages away uh which is a lot so anyway but now we can use conveyor belts but unfortunately we don't really have much to use them on except for um a couple of things so one thing that we need to do to make conveyor belts we have them on is it the q menu there it is yes logistics conveyor belts so here they are and they need iron rods, which we need more of. Um, those are poles, actually. Uh, okay, no, we just need the plates for the belts. Uh, we don't think we need any supports yet for them. Um, so what we're going to do is just connect them onward. So they've already appeared in our hotbar there. So let's go ahead and add a conveyor belt from there to there and one from here to there. So at the moment we at oh, this is cool. So we have all this stuff going from the conveyor belt to here. We do not have access to things like splitters or mergers yet. We can only do straight conveyor belts, um, but we can get more iron per minute, which is gonna be fabulous. Now this thing is still making the wire. That's great. Life is now better. So now we have kind of, um, eliminated a problem step which is transferring from one to another now we just have to put stuff in one end and then take from the other end so let's go and make some uh, iron rods real quick and what we can do is um get things uh wait let's see what we have uh here i'm just looking how much ore we have all right so we have a lot of iron ore but no no copper at the moment so let's just dump this in here we are lacking there we go do we have copper? Nope. Okay, let's go and get the copper real quick. Yes, we gotta run all the way over there. It'll be fine, though. It'll be fine. <laughs> it's a long way to go. Can I jump up this way? Yay! Yes, we can. Um, we've had some issues. I've seen some people having issues with um, not being able to build the miners on these patches, and I don't know if we'll probably get there in this episode, but you just need to, to delete that central pillar by mining it if you can't place the regular miner on top of it. That's the uh, MK1 miner that uh, we haven't gotten to yet. Uh, at the moment, we're just using the portable miners. Okay, so uh, this thing is producing those bits. I think with this one... Let's see, we're getting some plates. I want to see how many plates we need for the next th uh, thing. And what are we making in here again? Do we decide? Oh yeah, we're doing some leaves into biomass. I think now we also have the recipe for converting wood into biomass. So let's just take the leaves out of here. Let's get the new recipe. Ah, yes, we do. Okay, wood to biomass. Let's go and collect that. We have it stored in our personal chest. Let's see if we can place anything else in here as well. Um, let's see. Let's put this extra biomass in there. What is this stuff? That's iron ore copper oops i forgot to put the copper away but let's go and grab the wood there it is and then we can get that moved along as well what did i forget just now i was looking at something and i was like ah oh yes copper 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 i know i forgot something it's fine though it's fine there's a copper go go and then let's go back to the wood thingy majingy and get that going so take the wood i it'll be good to get storage containers so then we don't have to empty these things so often but look we have conveyor belts yay this is good um all right so let's go and see Cre craft biomass we're already doing that okay so that's hot upgrade four we already have gotten these things so the idea with the game here is that it's teaching us to make stuff um, and it's getting more annoying to handcraft them if you handcraft them. So right now we are able to supply the 100 iron plates. We need 75 iron rods. So I feel like changing over the, uh, the iron rod thing. Um, wow, we need more cable. We need 20 cable. Actually, let's go and since this is a time-based thing, let's go and just change this factory to make rods instead of ingots. Or not ingots, um, plates. So let's make rods, please. 
Thank you. Okay, so now this is going to be making rods, and we already had the plates dumped into our inventory, which is quite nice. Let's go ahead and shove those in as well. Um, so there we go. Great. Good, good. Let's see. How many? How much does this have? It says 53 biomass left. Let's put the 200 in there and see. Check on this guy. Is this done already? Oh, we already have 200. Nice. Okay, so if the output fills up, we have to remember to make sure and collect stuff. Um, okay, next thing. We need, okay, 75 of those. 20 cables. We didn't make the cables yet, so let's just do that. I don't mind making a bunch of cable because we need it for power lines and things like that. So let's make like, I don't know, 40 cables since we have tons and tons of copper wire. All right. Oh, dear me. Okay. My brain is not working today very well, apparently. Okay. Uh, yeah. 43. We have 20. Great. We Now we need 75 iron rods. Now we could sneak over here and... Um, Oh, wow, we're out of iron already? Gee, all right, let's put some in. Go and get that iron ore. And how many iron rods do we have? We have a few, not that many though. We may just make some on our own. Let's go and collect more ore. Okay, let's go. Do 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 do. Yay. I think we're one up this time this way. Just get some leaves here and there as we go. Now, I hope that fuel is able to be automated because this is not, I haven't gotten to that part of the game in my test game when I was practicing. So it'll be good to see if that is a thing, if we can get that. Just pick up these thingy-majingies. There we go. And these. And of course, I think I'll also pick up the limestone as well. We have, oopsies. Do we have enough slots, storage slots? Mm, yeah, we do. We do. Let's get this. Yay. I think it's down here somewhere. Is it this way? No. I think I lost it. Oh dear. <laughs> I've lost the limestone. No. There's an animal down there. I've lost my limestone. That's okay though. We can press C and it will scan for us. Oh no, it's scanning for iron. Okay. Interesting. Try it again. 79 meters. This way? Is this the one? Oopsies. Whoa. Okay, had a little bit of lag there. That was quite funky. Kind of looking around for animals and leaves. Let's grab this. Grab this. Okay, and then go back up the hill, please. There we go. It's just like kind of iffy whether you'll get up the rocks or not but i happen to know there are staircases in the game that you can craft as well as other stuff so that's not shouldn't be too big of a problem for us uh later but you know leaves are respawning so that's great we'll go here and i maybe i should make a ramp or two just to get up here better okay so let's see we can have our copper go in here thank you and the iron goes here that's already all coming out. Let's make sure that these guys are not overfilled. There we go. 306 copper wire. That's a heck of a lot. I might even put some in um, in the storage container. Uh, okay, so we have... Wow, lots of stuff here. We have all the stuff. More wood. We don't need that, but we can get the leaves going on. Uh, we could also craft other things in this thing. I'm just kind of using it for biomass at the moment. I think I'll put in some of the biomass that we have. There we are. Sort it. Good, good. Petals, yes. And maybe copper cable, since we really don't need all of that at the moment. Oh, and the wood. Forgot about the wood. It would be nice to have a few more uh, personal inventory slots. Okay, concrete. Let's go. Let's just craft this. And it's kind of nice. There we go. I really... I'm not really a, a fan of the whole, like, limiting the number of crafting machines by power limitations because we can't actually craft another um, power structure yet. So it makes it a little bit annoying. But that's okay. Okay, so let's see. We have iron rods left. I think that's the last thing we need. Yep. Um, we need 75 of them. There we go. For hub upgrade four. So let's go and make that happen. Yay. Okay, iron rods. Let's go. 
Boom. Upgrade. Woohoo! Yay. We have stuff now. Alright. And five is going to get us the biomass burner and the space elevator. Aha! Okay. Great. We can do stuff now. To ensure full mastery of skills and equipment, I have uh, to not interfere nice. with this last objective. Yep, no interference from uh, GLaDOS or whoever this is. Anyway, we're asked to build more and more stuff. As you can see, we need 30 concrete. Can we do that? Yeah, we can. Um, we can also give some of this. Got some rods, got some plates. Yeah, it'll be good. We'll get everything organized and it'll be just fine. Let's just fill that up. Great. I could actually give this machine... Oh, this one's already... Yeah, they already have plenty of copper. Can't keep up with all the copper. Okay, so here we have iron rods. We need 150, so I guess we'll just keep producing uh, as much as we can with this. Uh, we don't have any extra power yet, which is kind of a shame. Um, oh, here's our extra burner. Hello. Nice, 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 nice. What we could do is we could set up another iron smelter. Um... And another thingy making iron stuff. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to set this up. Instead of copper, we're going to make iron here. And instead of this stuff, we're going to make um, plates instead of copper things. So I'm going to clear this. I'm just going to press E to get rid of all these guys. And E to take this one. Hello. Can I have this? Hello. E. All right. Let me just... I don't, I don't know if that's a thing. Can I clear the whole thing e okay it looks like i could pick it up just from the belt if i snuck it that way um let's just make sure that this has iron let's go make it it's gonna happen this one is also is it off oh it just ran out of iron okay let's go ahead and deal with that go get more from the miners and soon oh soon i think we might be able to build miners right now let's just make sure that these things are running Oopsies. No. Come. Back. There we go. 100 here. Good, good, good. Sort. Okay. We now have stuff. Lots and lots of stuff. We have tons and tons of copper. I think I'm going to put some in the storage box. Um, just because I don't really need all of it. Um, and one of these copper cable things as well. Um, okay. So we can now run stuff. Uh, is this open yet for business? Not yet. Okay. Oh, there's beds in there. How nice. Cool. We have some computer consoles. Doesn't seem to be interactable. Okay. That's fine. I know the research thing is going to sit right there once we get it. All right. Let's see what we can build now. Um, foundations. We can build stuff now if we want to. We can build ramps, walls, storage containers. Oh my gosh. We've got storage containers. Oh, yay. Okay. Cool. I want to get some... Uh, we want to build some of these. We really want to build some, for sure. This is interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn this around a bit. I'm missing iron plates. Oh, dear. How inconvenient of me. Producing. Why are you not producing? Hello? Hello? It is getting iron bars. Are you on? Do I need to change the recipe? Is it... Ah, it was... Okay. That's very naughty that it still had one copper ingot in there. Um, kind of hard to diagnose as well. That's kind of unfortunate. Okay, it's okay though. We got it all sorted. We can go ahead and get our iron rods here. Uh, and then fill these guys up again with copper... Or um, iron ore. Let's just get this going. Storage boxes. Okay, we need the plates for that, though. We need ten plates for each of the storage boxes. Okay, that's five. I could grab these iron thingies and just... We'll just take some off the belt here and then just produce some in-house. Not this. This one. Okay, good. Iron plates. Let's do it. Okay. Nice. 
And then what we can do is, I think... So, you know, what we could really use is a splitter here. Because, obviously, this one isn't producing as fast as the smelter can produce the ingots. So it would be nice to have a splitter to split it to another um, machine, but unfortunately, we can't do that just yet. So what I'm going to do here, though, is we're, we're going to make a storage container. Oopsies. Okay. Wow, these are huge. Okay, can I... God, it's so hard to see. I really want to... Wanted to figure out if this thing, if we can see if we can make a connection, like with that green line. This looks about right. But I don't see the conveyor thingy. Okay, that looks okay. If we do that there. I don't know if that means it's aligned or what. But let's go ahead and get our conveyor belts and have these guys go into storage. So that whenever, yeah, the iron rods get produced, they go straight into the storage thing. All right, let's go ahead and can we make another one? No, we only have five plates, but we'll go and fix this. We now have 22. Yay. All right, storage container. Let's go. Let's put this here. Now, the good thing for us is that... Now, see, this is weird. What are those? I wonder what the green lines mean. It might be an alignment of some kind, like where it's aligning on the grid somehow. I was using it to figure out if I could put conveyor belts but it doesn't seem to be that let's just see if I put one here what it does if it's happy ish with this let's get our conveyor belts going from there to there nice okay and storage thingies now the one thing I, I I'm not really that impressed with is the size of everything it makes it really hard to see anything uh, in the factory um, but maybe that will become easier later on I know there are like some aerial platforms where you can uh, can look at stuff from. Uh, and, and we might even try building stuff on the flooring system that there is. So that's that's something that we can, uh, can investigate in a bit. Now, this guy, we're probably going to use this to build miners. Uh, let's see. Hello? Hello. Okay. You are a thing. Great. How are you? Do you have um, some biomass? Yes, you do. Great. So we're going to feed this biomass to this machine here. I'm going to add that there. And then, what shall we do here? Get, um, ah yeah, figure out how to make a miner. That's what we need. Special hub production. We've got the miner mark one. This sounds good. We need, we have stuff. We just need the, um, the portable miner and we can just take that up in our inventory uh, as we build them. This is great. Cool. Um, but as we do that, I really do want to get some power poles going. Uh, and we're going to start a new line, I think, of power poles. So let's go ahead and just choose uh, this one. This guy is going to be... We'll start it here. And we'll build one down here, I think. Okay, and then we'll choose the lines. There we go. And go there. Okay, so this one is now connected to these guys down here. And we're going to pick up both of these. Well, yeah, I guess we should pick up both of them because we now have two smelters that are. Um, so we need to deconstruct, I think. So that's F. Can I decon. No, oh, no. Oh, it's a different thing. It's um, E. Ah, oh, there we go. Pick up minor. There we go. And then this one is also E. Pick up minor. There we go. Now then, a lot of people have been having issues while placing the mines on these patches, but you have to just kill off that central spire, um, which is, you know, you mine with E. So these already have the central spire removed. Just make sure that you remember to do that. Miners, let's see. Let's, can we, um, I think we'll go like this way. That seems okay. Okay, and then this guy is going to go that way. I think it should be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and get our power lines going. There we go. Power line here. Nice. All right, so they are producing. This is great. So we'll get conveyor belts now and see if we can connect them up here. Or do we need a thingy majingy? Nope, we can connect them. They are built all the way up. Wow, okay, it goes through the grass. It's a little bit of a <laughs> funny thing. Um, I guess we could put a conveyor pole, which is four, this guy, 
uh, to raise it. Let's see if the same thing kind of looks like that here. Um, okay, it's really hard to see this. Yeah, it does. Okay, so in this one, let's let's use the proper <clears throat> conveyor pole and put that there. Still don't know what those green lines are, but they they seem friendly. All right, let's build that there. Oh wait, it didn't build. Uh, do I not have enough material? Oh, I do. I do. Hello. Okay, you have to really click it in place. Okay, that's fine. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that looks a little bit better, I guess. It's not in the grass. This one, though, is happily um, walking barefoot through the grass. It's lovely. <clears throat> it's just fine. <laughs> it's just fine. Jeez. Um, the other thing that we can do is we can set up another smelter and um, connect a miner from all the way over at the copper mines. That's a possibility. So why don't we just do that? Let's let's go and set up a miner over there and get the stuff transported over here. Okay, leaves. Hello, leaves. So we always need more stuff. Let's go ahead and collect this and build a miner. Hello. Okay. Let's turn that around so it faces our factory, at the very least. There we go. Okay, very nice. Um, though, we don't actually have to have the copper smelter out there. We could have it around here somewhere. Um, and then have the conveyor lines go down that way. Let's see, what do we need for a smelter? It's Q, smelter. Do we have stuff? We have stuff. Wow, great. Uh, we could even put it... Um, wonder how much this produces 60 per minute okay let's go find out how much a smelter produces because i don't know if this it's going to be backed up or if it's the perfect ratio or what like one miner to one smelter i'm not sure seems to be going so 30 per minute um and it needs one iron ore per each so technically, does that mean that we... But it's not backing up. Why is it not backing up? Is it collecting, though? Let's see. 27, 26. So it isn't actually building up. That's what I'm... I'm kind of confused. Oh, this is two seconds. And this is how many seconds? Four, maybe? No. Two seconds also. 30 per minute. I don't understand this. Okay. Okay. I, I just don't understand this. It, and it's fine. It's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out one day. I'm riding the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt's a fun. Just, just saying. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go ahead and take our... Um, we do need another power pole to be made to go this direction. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect it here for now. Put one right there. And then grab the line from this guy out to here and then this one is going to go all the way out there so i think what i'll do is i'll put this smelter right around here because why not there's no reason why not there's plenty of room to build all the things oops that's not the right thing here we go uh smelter here we go and we'll shove this one down here maybe seems reasonable yes it's okay good good Yes, great. Okay, good. All right, and that belt can go from there to here. Oh, no, why not? Can't afford. Oh, no, it's 13 plates and I don't have them. Let's go and get the plates. Woohoo, jump, jump. I like jumping in games, by the way. Just, just saying. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, we have lots of rods now as well. Great. Kind of makes me... Oh, there's a take all button as well. That's good. That is very good. Oh, leaves are happening. Good, good. There's fruit. It's always good to collect the fruit because um, it does keep regrowing, but it's nice to just keep on grabbing it as you can. And then shove it in the leaf uh, eating factory. Ah, yes. And there's another thing that I kind of forgot to do is use that ore. What we can do here, though, is we can shut off this miner... Uh, turn it off for now and turn off this one because I do have uh, at the moment oopsies, 
Hello. Um, you know what? I'll just do it on one of them. Let's do it this one. Let's turn this one off. And this one... Well, let's see how much stuff I have in my inventory. I forgot that I do have plenty of ore in my inventory. There were, There's a hundred. And then this one can have a hundred. Can I still have 26 left? Sort, please. Oh, I thought I could push the whole button, but it's only on the left side. Okay. So we don't have that much stuff here. So we can just turn them off for a bit and then I'll turn them on a bit again later. And then um, let's just start with this smelter making the dealing with the copper right now. So let's just have it do copper ingots. Use the copper, please. And we need a power pole out here. So let's just add this one. It's uh, one to go. Okay, add it there and add this one there. And hopefully it's long enough to add out here. Let's see. It's this. Where did it go? Where did it go? Did I not have one here? Somewhere. Oh, here. Right. Good. Thank goodness you can make really long lines. Um, crazy long lines, I guess. There we go. Now, if you had a ton of stuff saved up, I would advise you to like maybe turn off one of these things and just put a whole bunch of stacks of iron ore into the, um, just into a, sh into uh, a, um, God, goodness, I can't even talk like warehouse sh storage thing. Uh, and that makes it a lot easier to do stuff. Okay. Take these. These are also really good if you change production on something like, I think I want to change production to have maybe more plates. So like I can do this thing and say, aha, make plates, please. Then it'll make plates. All right, let's look at these things, by the way. I have no idea how much we're using. Okay, capacity 20 meg megawatts, but we don't have those two uh, smelters or those two miners turned on yet. So that's uh, something we need to keep track of. Okay, what do we need to do? Build miners to fully automate, add buildings to to-do list via the build menu. And uh, thank you, Memento Mori, for mentioning that. I kind of forgot the whole, like, um, was it the crafting thing? Where is it? I don't remember. Is it this? Yes. No. Oh God. Ah, right here. Yeah. Um, so right mouse button in list to add to to do list. You can do that, uh, which is very handy. Um, okay. We have tons of stuff. Let's go ahead and fill the requirements for the next items. We have these. Let's go with these guys. Lots and lots of things required here. Uh, oh, and we have ingots too. All right. So we can upgrade our hub. Let's go for it. Boom. Okay, and we have a marker, and that's inside the housey thing. Now, you have unlocked hub aha. Molecular analysis machine, also known as the MAM. The MAM. Biomass burner. Building space Yay. Motivational All right. Message. Congratulations. The motivational message. So good. Task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Awesome. Okay. Very cool. Additional knowledge. The oh, terminal has been uh -huh. converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along fixed approved protocols. That's good. Okay, so anyway, provides oh, the opportunity to send samples of xenobiology and other materials I deem relevant to R and D in exchange for appropriate rewards. Mm hmm. There we go. Note, okay. Future so, oh, geez. Be aimed at constructing the space elevator. <clears and thus <clears <throat> It doesn't ever be quiet. Oh dear. Oh, so that's Steve. It's not, it's not actually GLaDOS, but it sounds like her just about. Anyway, what we can do is we can analyze stuff we found on the planet. So we can analyze like barrel nuts, flower petals, um, other things. I really would like to do flower petals because we get a lot of those. So, oh, we need 10 of them. All right, let's go and get more. I didn't realize we needed quite so many. Um, let's see. Berries we can put back. What are, oh, that's iron ore. Okay, uh, wood can go in here too. Let's go and get some more berries and just have it analyze things. And this is kind of a timed thing where it, um, is, yeah, five minutes to, to analyze. Oh, no, no, come back. There we go. Analyze. 
So in five minutes, we should know what these are going to give us, uh, which is kind of interesting. So we'll just let that do its thing for now and we'll sort our stuff, figure out if we can progress elsewhere. Now, there are tier, we, we have access right now to tier one and two stuff. And we have to complete space elevator phase one to get to tier three. Um, we have utility items and each of these, well, each of these categories costs different resources and we can select the milestone and, and get things going. So we have things called a lookout tower, provides a good overview, useful for building. Um, this might be quite cool to get, but it's also very expensive. We have biofuel, the most efficient form of biomass. Okay, that could be really good. Um, we've got doors uh, and walls. Logistics, productivity display. Uh, you can see the efficiency of each building. Conveyor splitters, conveyor mergers. Now that could be fun. Personal storage, we get inventory slots and you can build a personal storage box. Uh, exploration basics, we get an object scanner uh, and a beacon uh, used to mark areas of interest. Conveyor walls, these are walls that you can put conveyor belts through and we also get stairs with this one. Now tier two has part assemblies, which is assembler, rotor and modular frame. Now assemblers can produce, um, yeah, crafts two parts into another part. So I think it's kind of an upgraded version of the thing that we have, which is called the constructor. Okay, crafts one part into another part, so the other one can combine two parts together. Uh, that which sounds also really good. So obstacle clearing, we get a chainsaw and more inventory. Jump pads, we have a jump pad, which is very interesting. Propels you upward through the air. Make sure you land softly. U jelly landing pad generates a speed dampening jelly, guarantees a soft landing. Now this is very strange to me because with these jump pads, I would have assumed that you could just like jump anywhere you wanted and. I don't know, maybe have rocket boots or something to, to soften your landing or spring shoes or something. So it's kind of a strange thing to me that you'd have to have a landing pad because I would assume that this would be for mostly like exploration, but maybe it's just for transportation from one place to another. Uh, walkways, we have straight walkways, crossings, T crossings. So these are for like building higher up into the air. So that could be a good thing to get once we start building upwards uh, into the factory. And I'm kind of curious as to how that's going to work, but I really would like to get functionality going. So we're going to go for these conveyor mergers and uh, splitters and stuff like that first, uh, because that sounds most interesting to me. We're going to need plenty of plates. We need, wow, 200 rods. Uh, so maybe we, <laughs> we didn't make too many of those things. Oh no, oh no, I, I, uh, I forgot to turn this on. No, no. Oh man, oh man. Okay, do I have any more iron ore? Yes, I do. Okay, so I shouldn't have turned off both because now they're none of them are functioning. It, it's fine, it's fine. It'll be fine. Let's turn this guy on. I think that's probably a good spot uh, to end for now um, because we're getting very, very close uh, to, to doing other stuff. One more thing before I go, uh, Epic Games has a program with uh, content creators where they get a percentage of the purchase price if you purchase any game on their store. So if you decide you like Satisfactory or anything else, uh, you can click on it, go to the pre-purchase or purchase thingy majingy, and then at the checkout, you can um, go here and enter a creator tag. And all you have to do is type in Catherine of Sky, uh, and it's right here. Uh, make sure that you choose the correct one. I noticed that if I just did Catherine, there is another Catherine there. So um, obviously I can't use my own creator tag, but you can use uh, mine on yours. And I would be very grateful if you decided to support me with that. So thank you again for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.